Oscar De La Hoya wasn't too happy about Ryan Garcia putting their issues out there for everyone to see, and Ryan has responded to Oscar calling him out. It's no surprise that fighters have issues with Oscar De La Hoya, and Canelo Alvarez voiced his opinions on the matter. I've seen some stuff about with the whole like Oscar De La Hoya thing. I'm glad to go away yeah. from him. Yeah. Because he's crazy. We're really good friends with Dana White, yeah. and he he doesn't like Oscar De La Hoya too, I said. Oscar De La Hoya has announced he's coming out of retirement to box again. Cocaine isn't cheap. I think nobody. Because he's a vacuum, right? Every time he's in, in problems, he don't have any fighters left ryan garcia because he he signed with with him now ryan garcia i think he's, he's in a problem with him that's why nobody wants to be with him because he's he's no lawyer shane mosley wasn't too sure how good ryan's timing was for airing his issues seeing how he was about to fight oscar duarte shane stated i've got negative vibes from ryan it could be a mistake because you shouldn't be thinking about oscar de la hoya or bernard or whatever they're doing and bring that to the press conference even though i like ryan garcia i think this was the time to get some things off his chest he said what he needed to say to get it off his chest i still think ryan has too much speed too tall too rangy for this kid duarte but it seemed like it was a distraction and it was a big distraction Hopefully, that doesn't play into the fight. Eddie Hearn really didn't think that Ryan should be working with Oscar anymore, though. I mean, I just... I can't believe what I've seen this week. Like, you know, you talk about mental health issues. That's the kind of thing that will give you mental health issues. You know, your own team calling you out publicly in a situation like that. And, you know, Ryan Garcia might lose tonight. And if he loses... I mean, really, you have to look at the team and say, how do you expect him to go in to fights that are, you know, you're putting your life on the line in fights when you're really getting mentally destroyed by your own team? It's bizarre. You can imagine the Ryan Garcia Golden Boy relationship will be coming to an end soon. Would you be interested in signing with Facebook oh, yeah, free agent? Course. I don't, you know, if any fighter of that magnitude becomes a free agent, we'd be interested. But I think those, those two need to sit down. And just sever ties. This is toxic. Oscar swears that he and Bernard Hopkins have only been looking out for Ryan, and Oscar stated, Bernard Hopkins and I have spent decades putting on the biggest events in the sport, including Ryan's last fight, which generated $30 million for him. We build champions, help them navigate their careers to the top, and make them the highest paid fighters. Ryan thinks that Oscar is full of it though, and he thinks that his promoters are working against him. Ryan stated, One thing that's been on my heart is the statements that Bernard made where he'll decide if I'm going to finish or if I should continue boxing after this fight. He doesn't decide that. My coach does. My team does. Everybody that grinds with me, day in and day out, that's who decides. Nobody was telling him when to stop boxing. He stopped boxing at, what, 45? So kudos to him. Another thing I want to touch on is Oscar saying that we misinterpret what they say. It's plain English. I didn't hear anybody speaking any language I don't know. Hopkins also said that he calls out all the bullshit, the lies. The last time I checked, he said he'd never lose to a white boy, and then Joe Smith Jr. knocked him out of the ring. The last time I checked, Joe Smith Jr. was white, so they are lying. Oscar's first response was to go to his social media to comment on Ryan's state of mind, and Oscar stated, I have to say that I'm really concerned about Ryan Garcia's state of mind, considering the history of mental instability which he's documented himself. His current erratic behavior shows he's clearly not focused on Saturday's fight. You won't take my calls, Ryan. I hope you're okay. Bernard Hopkins called Ryan out right before he took the stage too, and he stated, There's one thing about this sport that I love, and that's why I talk so passionately about it. And some take it wrong, and I don't care. I'm not apologetic. I stand on what I say. Boxing will call your bluff. I'ma say it again. Boxing will call your bluff. One thing about this sport, like no other sport, if you say who you are or who you think you are, either way, it will call your bluff. And one thing about this, it won't be a secret, it won't be in the dark, it will be in the light. After Ryan's comments, Bernard reacted by saying that it isn't his or Oscar's job to kiss up to fighters like Ryan. Bernard stated, not treating him like a champion? Is he a champion? He got a world title belt? 
Listen, we're not in the business, and Oscar will repeat in his own way, we're not in the business of kissing fighters telling them something that they're not. Now, I will promote a fight, but I will not promote a lie. I'ma say it again. I will promote a fight, but I will not promote a lie. Take that to the bank and make sure you get interest later on off that quote. I feel like I'm not gonna let the media or anybody else turn this into you said this, I said that. I spoke on it now because I want the world and the people to understand whether they agree or disagree, they gotta go back to the videos. Oscar seems to have trouble earning respect from anyone nowadays though, even from Dana White. Oscar De La Hoya is two-faced, he's a liar, total phony. Whatever my personal things are with De La Hoya, De La Hoya was a bad boy mm -hmm. with his career and everything else. Um, you know, I respect that. I respect what Oscar De La Hoya did in the as ring. As a fighter. Now, like I told you, I respected Oscar as a fighter. Right. Whatever we met, we were cool. He came to some UFCs. I'd be at home. He'd have a fight on. I'd promote his fight on my social media, whatever. We'd do Mayweather McGregor, and he oh. starts f***ing said, telling people, do not buy this fight. This, is, this fight is a disgrace to boxing, blah, blah. But I'll fight Conor McGregor. Right. And then, and then he comes back and says, ah, oh, I want to patch things up with Dana. We will never be friends. I respect him as a fighter. Right, right. I'm gonna watch his documentary. And, uh, but yeah, personally, mm. Polly Malignaggi tried to compare Ryan to Oscar as a fighter and he thinks Ryan has potential. Polly stated, Ryan Garcia is a retarded version of Oscar De La Hoya. Ryan is not as good as De La Hoya, but he can improve. He has the appearance and physical inclinations. He can become a ladies man. He owns the money and makes headlines. As for Ryan's professional relationship with Oscar, Ryan's lawyer thinks that Oscar's handling things terribly. He stated, a promoter is supposed to promote a fight and back their fighters, especially when you have a superstar like Ryan Garcia. I don't think anyone, inside or outside of boxing, thinks they are promoting Ryan properly. It's just really difficult to figure out why Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins say some of the bizarre things they say. It's also odd that Oscar says other people around Ryan are in his ear, as if Ryan is not smart and has his own person and has the ability to think for himself. Ryan is a smart guy and a lot smarter than them, I can tell you that. Ryan is reacting to what they are doing. He doesn't need a team to figure out what they're saying and what Ryan is experiencing for himself. You can't create a narrative that he's getting bad advice. The source of the problems are them saying bizarre things that are not appropriate for a promoter to be saying. Ryan articulately reacted to the disrespect he experienced. I was extremely disappointed at the conduct of two 50 plus year old guys who were supposed to be promoting and moving Ryan's career forward. Ryan wants to continue to fight in 2024 and he doesn't want anything to stop him. What that structure is like depends on the future litigation. Certainly what they've done in this fight has not helped their own cause in the ongoing legal matters. Oscar tried to patch things up after Ryan won his last fight with Oscar Duarte. Oscar stated, he did what he had to do. That's exactly what you expect, a good fight. Oscar's a tough guy. That's why I was always saying, man, I'm so surprised that he picked him because Oscar's strong. But Ryan did what he had to do. He was using everything that he was working on in the gym. The distance, the jab, the right hand, boxing. Proud of him, man. I don't know. I haven't even thought about it. We'll have to go back to the drawing board. As his promoter for many years to come, we'll figure it out and figure out a plan. Then we'll go back to the drawing board. As for what Ryan has to say about Oscar, it looks like one of his followers on social media gave him an interesting idea. Ryan posted, Somebody told me to fight Oscar De La Hoya in my comments, laughing my f off. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.